smelled out by that defense. Ryan Alls hit Smith before he had any chance to get going. They ran the play fake on the hot pass, handed to Smith on the dive. Alls nailed him, and then Carson finished him off. So third down and a long six. And Brian and Griffin again to the left side. And as the Blue Devils put five men up on the line, C sneaks up. Duke in motion. Carney straight drop, looks to throw this time, has a man Griffin, and pass interference is going to be called on the play, Tommy, as hitting a little too early is Ricky Phillips. Well, Ricky trying to send a message to the wide receiver, Gerald Griffin, and I'm going to be here, <laughs> and Ricky hit him before the football got there. Griffin coming on the quick slant on the year. Griffin with 11 catches for 209 yards, only one touchdown. Riverdale uh, has only thrown five touchdown passes, this will, this penalty will give the Warriors a first down deep inside Lebanon territory as the sticks move. And now Lebanon's defense is going to be backed up, and here comes the official call. Pass interference against Lebanon. The ball will be placed just inside the 12-yard line. So first and 10 for the Warriors. As they need to reach inside the two, Tommy, for the first, but really here, they're looking to put it in the end zone. And here's a switch. Jeff Gannon is out there on the field. Gannon apparently passed his physical today and has been cleared to play, and he's in there at defensive end for Lebanon. Bryant to the left, Griffin to the right, eye formation with Duke the tailback. Carney turns, runs the option right side, hole up the middle to the six-yard line as Griffin had a hold of him, as well as Ronald C. We didn't expect to see Jeff Gannon. He did not practice all week. He had a series of shoulder stingers. They held him out of practice all week and worked on his rehab. That's a, uh, that's a feather in the cap to our sports medicine people who've been able to get Gannon back out here tonight. Griffin goes out. Morse back into the ball game at linebacker for the Blue Devils. Six men up on the line for Lebanon. They will toss it right side, and in the backfield goes Duke. He goes down, and the man who wasn't supposed to play, Tommy, Jeff Gannon, got him. Gannon looks a little bit like the hunchback of Notre Dame with those extra padding under his, that extra padding under his shoulder pads, but he catches the running back before he can get moving upfield, before he can get that momentum going. So Riverdale now looking at third down. Third and seven for the Warriors as they need to reach inside the two-yard line of Lebanon. A minute and a half remains in the first quarter. As Carney, a little bit of discrepancy, now looks to the sidelines. He will call a timeout as he's not sure of the play. We'll take one as well and be back in just a moment. Hi, I'm Heather Sewell, a junior varsity football cheerleader at Lemon High School. We're here at Fates and Hooker with Mr. Ted Oggs. We would like to say thank you for your support and present to you some Blue Devil football souvenirs. Thank you. On behalf of Fakes and Hooker, Ken Hawkins, Jimmy Dial, and myself, We'd like to wish Coach Bob Dillard and his staff a very prosperous year. Go Big Blue! Go Big Blue! John, a defensive stop would be huge right here. Tommy, a huge is not the word for it. For us to, uh, to be mixing up with Riverdale for the whole first quarter, only a minute 20 left, and uh, to be up 3 nothing is, uh, is a lot to be said for this Blue Devil team. Uh, a big third down and seven conversion here for the Riverdale and the Blue Devil defense. As John told you, third and seven, the ball just outside the eight yard line, split backs, Duke straight back, Williams offset to the left, three wide receivers for Carney. He'll turn, wants to run the option, pitches it late, the ball's up in the air, Duke grabs it and runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, now I've seen everything. Lebanon got a break as we forced the quick pitch from Carney. It looked like it hit Carney in the face mask, John. It popped straight up in the air, but he catches it on the bounce. Actually, uh, the hit on the quarterback caused that hard pitch. It did. Uh, it hit Duke right in the face mask. It bounced straight up, and then uh, he just had enough uh, presence of mind there to get it back up under it, and he, he walked in. Ryan Miller on for the extra point. Blaze is down. Kick is up. And it is 
good. So with a minute 14 remaining in the first quarter, Riverdale 7, the Blue Devils 3. We'll be back in just a moment. Hello, I'm Kim Coots, a senior varsity football cheerleader at Leverton High School. We're here at Toshiba with Miss Joyce Mitchell. We would like to thank you for your support and present to you these Blue Devil souvenirs. Toshiba is proud to support the Lebanon High School athletic programs. Go Devils! All right. Go! Riverdale goes 64 yards, seven plays. Alvin Duke with the touchdown. Ryan Miller, the extra point. With a minute 14 left in the first quarter, it's Riverdale 7, Lebanon 3. On to kick the ball away is Michael Knox. Griffin stands about his own six. He is flanked by Stafford and C. Knox's kick, a line drive ball. Taken by Griffin at the 7, 10, 15, 20. Has a hole, 30 on his feet to the 33-yard line. He is spun down by Kevin Litchford. Good return by Griffin right back up the middle. Lebanon goes back to the middle return. Has good success, and Lebanon going to enjoy some good field position. Now, let's see how this offense works. We're behind. We're nearing the end of the first quarter. Let's see if we can still grind out and, and keep this football on the ground and not get in a position where we have to throw the football against this Riverdale defense. First and 10 for the Blue Devils. I formation behind Reeder. Carson now splits to the right side as an up receiver. As Reeder turns, gives it to Grissom straight up the gut out to the 37-yard line. He'll pick up four on that carry, Tommy. Well, Lebanon is operating against a smaller nose man and we're getting those wide line splits. And what that's doing is that's leaving the nose man, Greg Smith, 5'8", 180 pounds, matched up against Jody Atwood. Jody will get a block on him, just get a stalemate, and we'll pull and run the trap right off of that block. Clemens is John and Jeff split to the left side as wide receiver. Carson that side as well. Toss sweep right side. Sellers cuts it back up. 40 on his feet. 45 out to the 47-yard line as he picks up right at 10 on that carry, Tommy, for the first down. Good cut back by Jade as we end come to the end of the first period. Good cut back by Jade for the first down yardage. That's going to be it for Lebanon here and for us as we give you the score at the end of the first period. Riverdale leads Lebanon 7-3, and we'll be back in just a moment. Hello, I'm Megan Davis, a sophomore varsity football cheerleader at Lebanon High School. We're at Piggly Wiggly with Mr. Alan Bain. We would like to say thank you for your support and present to you these Lebanon football souvenirs. Thank you. Piggly Wiggly is proud to support the Lebanon Blue Devil football program. Tommy Bryan, Terry Stafford, John Bryan, Sam Axley back with you for the second quarter as Lebanon and Riverdale locked up in a good one, a Region 4 5A contest. The Warriors of Riverdale lead Lebanon by a score of 7-3. to three. Lebanon scored on a field goal by Kyle Zachary, Alvin Duke of Riverdale put the Warriors ahead with his 25, 25th touchdown of the year. And the Warriors have gone to a four-man line, so they've taken their nose guard out. Eye formation on first down, toss sweep left side, Sellers. Bounces it out, finds some company, and struggles back to the original line of scrimmage as Corey Carney will well, get a hold of his feet and get him for no gain. Sam, they pulled their nose man, Greg Smith, and they've gone to a 4-3 look. They've added an extra defensive back into the football game for the well we'll check that here after this after this play but Riverdale has gone to the 4-3 look second down and a long 10 a loss of half a yard on that play Reader looks over a four-man line as we told you straight up the middle Grissom to the 49 out to the 50-yard line he will pick up right at three but Tommy he'll leave third down and eight for the Blue Devils they've added an extra Defensive back, Kevin Litchford is in there. 
Litchford normally a defensive end. He and Keith Jordan, two defensive ends in on the same side. They're playing Litchford kind of like a strong safety. So Lebanon with that success up the middle has forced Riverdale to change what they've been successful with, the 5-3 look. Third down and eight for the Blue Devils. Carson will go up to the left side. Griffin on the right as well as Cherry. Reader turns. Play action fake. Looks to throw. Has time. Let's it go down the middle. He's got Carson. It is incomplete. Flag comes out. Pass interference will be called against Alvin Duke. Duke came over the top of Elliott Carson. Lebanon running the deep route. The post pattern to the big junior tight end. Elliott Carson. Lebanon got time for the quarterback, Reader. He had time to step up in the pocket, deliver the football, and Bryant comes over the top for the pass interference call, and Lebanon picks up the big yardage. Well, Tommy, Bryant had to. Bryant, 5'11", 168, going against Elliot Carson, 6'4", 210. That's, that's a big-time mismatch. And a kid who can get down the field in a hurry in Elliot Carson. And here comes the mark-off against the Warriors. So Lebanon with a first, first down via the penalty tonight. That'll make it first and 10 for the Blue Devils, the 35-yard line of Riverdale, as Cherry and Clemens will split to the left side. Carson, a tight end on the right. Stafford is in at the tailback position for the Blue Devils. Reed will turn, gives it to Stafford up the middle. 38, still fighting as he picks up two on the play, but Tommy, the main thing on that he didn't fumble, and he kept those legs driving to get the extra yardage. Stafford's kind of a squirter. He'll get between a couple of people and slide through there, and, and if you don't do a good job of wrapping up Chris Stafford, he could break out of the pile and really hurt you. They will give him two and a half, almost three yards on that carry as the Blue Devils need to make the 25-yard line. <laughs> Jeff and John Clemens split to the left as Grissom up tight in that fullback position. Six men on the line for the Warriors. Reader straight drop wants to throw. Quick has Carson. No, that's Clemens down to the seven, 18 yard line, Tommy. Great job as they brought Carney, the outside linebacker in rush. Bo Grissom picked him up. That gave us plenty of time to hit Jeff Clemens on the slant. Clemens had two touchdown receptions last week. He's turning himself into a big receiver. Terry, good pickup on that play. 14 yards from Lebanon from the 33 down to Riverdale's 19 first down for Lebanon. Ball on the 19 yard line. Stafford remains the tailback. Carson again up on that right side. Three receivers for Reeder. <clears throat> Straight drop, wants to throw, looks for Carson. It is incomplete as Bryant comes up to break up the pass. Second and 10 for the Blue Devils. Trying to hit Carson on the quick out. Once again, going for the size mis mismatch as they have Fernando Bryant in coverage. A full five or six inches difference between the two. Bryant just got a hand in there to break that up. So second and 10 for the Blue Devils as it will be Jeff Clemens split to the left. John Clemens, a wing back. Now he will come up as a wide receiver. Warriors cheating up, looking to blitz. Grissom up the middle will get a couple of yards down to the 17. They'll give him the 16, and that'll bring up third down and a long seven, Tommy. Griffin comes into the football game, Sam. He'll go at a, looks like a receiver spot. And Clemens comes out. Uh, not a great spot for the Blue Devils as the officials have set the ball just outside of the 17, not the 16, where they originally spotted third down and eight. Carson on the left side, Griffin and Clemens to the right. Eye formation, and now Grissom will go in motion to the 